Dear all, Namaste and good morning. Today, I shall be discussing on Rinke's Irima of Larynx. This is a very common question to be asked in ENT examination. Rinke's Irima is defined as accumulation of fluid in Rinke's space of larynx, which is a potential space between the squamous and the respiratory theorem of the true vocal cords, or the space in the lamina propria of the true vocal cords in its superficial layer. Rinke's Irima has been named by many synonyms. They are bilateral diffuse polyposis, the edema resembles a polyp, smoker's polyps, polypoid choroiditis that is inflammation of the vocal cord which is polypoid in nature, polypoid degeneration of the vocal cords and localized hypertrophic laryngitis. Ringi's edema accounts for around 10% of benign laryngeal lesions. What are the causes of Ringi's edema? They are use of irritants like tobacco smoke, dry air, dust or alcohol, allergy to the larynx leading to laryngeal allergy and formation of polypoid degeneration, chronic sinusitis, in which condition there will be PND or postnasal drip and that will go towards the larynx and may lead to Rinke's edema when the patient persistently coughs or persistently clears the throat <coughs> like that. Then mixed edema, hypothyroidism, there will be collection of fluid in the Rinke's space and sometimes the cause being unknown. The interesting fact about this is the edema is limited to superior surface of the vocal cord because there will be dense fibrous attachment to conus elasticus in the under surface of vocal cords. Therefore, there will be superficial edema of the vocal cords only. There will seem like a polypoid lesion on the vocal cords. How does the patient present? What are the clinical features? They are, the condition is common in young men between 30 and 60 years. The patient will have monotonous and low pitch voice. There will be diplophonia also, which is defined as double voice. It is due to asymmetric vocal cord involvement because both the vocal cords may not be similarly enlarged or swollen. Sometimes when there is gross edema of the vocal cords, the patient may have stridor also, but this is not very severe. On examination, in early cases, there will be increased convexity of the medial vocal cord margin, as I will show in the picture below. In late cases, the vocal cords will be seen as pale, watery bags of fluid on superior surface of the vocal cords, which move to and fro on phonation. That is 100% diagnostic for Rinke's edema. And on examination, you can see fusiform swelling of the vocal cords. You can see in these pictures, there will be symmetrical or asymmetrical swelling of the vocal cords or vocal folds. You can see here, they are like, you can see the fusiform swelling of the vocal cords in this photograph. How to treat the condition? After diagnosing the condition, you have to ask the patient to eliminate the causative factors. Most of the times, the patient has stopped smoking. If the patient stops smoking for a longer time, the polyp might regress. You can give anti-allergic medicines, anti-gastritic medicines, anti-reflux medicines when the patient is having irritation, allergy or gastritis. Surgical treatment by vocal cord stripping or decortication under microlangular surgery is the surgery of choice. In this case, we make posterior anterior incision on the superior vocal cord surface as a later told the fluid lies in the superior surface and the edematous fluid is sucked out as there will be gelatinous fluid and the edematous tissues are removed with the cough forceps. This is called as stripping of vocal folds and the mucosa is repositioned. Which therapy is to be done for one week before and three weeks after surgery? Patients should not speak much. In this case, you can see vocal cord stripping. Vocal cords are stripped from the superior surface, with the superior surface of the vocal folds. So we should not go much medially. If we go much medially on the both sides, then there will be sinica formation after surgery. Once the vocal folds are stripped, you can see the fluid inside here. The edematous tissue is removed now. After that, trimming and redraping of the mucosa is performed. Otherwise, the mucosa may be raw and there might be worseness again. You can see the pre-op and the poster pictures. Pre-op picture, it is sac-like structure or the fusiform swelling of the vocal folds, both sides. After surgery, the vocal folds have been stripped off and the epithelium has been re -epithelized. This is all about ringage edema. Thank you. Thank you so much.